Seven Sigma of Greed. Gushe, relax. Candace having babies. That's cool. Oh yeah, she said you it was gonna. noticed that, did you? Nope. She said it was gonna. Mm -hmm. Little bumps pop up. Cool. I'm gonna do be more prepared. You just threw me out here because you gotta go. Yes. You don't want to do this early before I left, so it's your right. fault. Come here, yoga girl. Let's go. That's why you got dog hair on your hat. You got dog hair everywhere. Hey guys, so we wanted to come on here and talk about solar stuff. The journey of it all, how difficult it was for and us. How much it cost. And how much it cost. And how much we saved. Definitely how much we saved and how how difficult it was for us to um Where your black stuff out for you? Did you? Oops. And then he gonna put his spit on me. <laughs> Can you not hawk on camera, please? Can't be going to yoga all dirty, man. Clean up. <laughs> Come on here, let's go. Okay. I'm tired. I got stuff to do. I got places to go. I got places to be. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Make me sick. So anyway, um, it was just really a difficult journey for. Uh, you gotta wait for the ghetto song. bird to go by. It's not the ghetto bird, it's an airplane. We don't get ghetto birds out here. Because I didn't know what the ghetto bird was LA coming thing. from New York and the East Coast. I had no idea what the ghetto bird was. And he used to say, oh, that's the ghetto bird. And I'm like, what's the ghetto bird? It's LAPD helicopter unit. They used to chase down drug dealers and gangbangers. If you live in LA, you just hear helicopters 24-7. Luckily, where we are, we don't have the ghetto bird. And I'm grateful for that. But anyway. What the hell is that? Because it won't go away. It's an airplane. We need to go on somewhere. All right, come on here. We gotta go, okay. we gotta go. Okay, so anyway. So Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, go. So this video is about solar stuff. Okay. And how so much you pay for the solar stuff. I'm gonna let you go ahead and talk about all the pay stuff because I wasn't involved with that. I was shopping for shoes while he was paying for solar. So in the previous Wednesday video, we talked about how we fund in our homestead. Val mentioned that some stuff we do pay for cash and some stuff we charge and pay off um, as soon as possible or immediately. We don't really try to hold on to debt for any long amount of time. Like we stated before, um, when we purchased the land, that was an owner finance. It was a five year note, but we just doubled down, made double payments and threw all the extra change we had when available at that loan. And we were able to pay that off in two and a half years. So the well is going to be a big one. I'm looking at doing that later on this year, just trying to save up and pay off a couple of items that popped up this year. But as far as our solar, that entire system was actually completely 100% debt free. Saved up $12,000. Was able to do that through old school savings from prior investments, a little crypto, a little Bitcoin, wink, wink. 12 grand was our budget. That's what we had saved up. So we didn't have to go into debt for that one. And my personal philosophy that I like to use, it might sound equal statistical but it works for me and for those of you who are looking for new techniques finding tools that might help you, you know get that extra edge i like to tell myself that no matter what happens in life it will always work out to my benefit because i am the star of my own movie in my head <laughs> not in real life but in my head so no matter what happens bad or good tragic or great it's always going to work out in my favor learning lessons learning life lessons people coming in your life, people exiting your life. It's always to your advantage. So don't really focus too much on what's happening to you. Kind of focus more on what's the final results gonna be. And it's always gonna be in your favor, even when you think it's some tragic situations or some hard times. And just to help you develop a certain mindset to move to the next level in life. And that's not just financially, that's spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, all of the illies. So anyway, long story short, how that applies to the solar situation is that so originally I had my eye on the Blue Eddy ES900 system and I reached out to a Blue Eddy rep and we set up a Zoom call. He did a software thing and found out what would be the best area to um, place the solar panels for the highest solar yield and all that good stuff. Um, put together a system. Then he put me in touch with their retail side. We linked up. My first obstacle was that that particular installer never got back to me and I spent literally about two or three weeks going back and forth with this person just trying to get a quote and they actually just kept blowing me off i'm busy i'll get to you this week sorry for the delay i'll get back to you get back to you blah 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 and never got back to us um i started reaching out to different companies because i have no experience i've never done anything solar on our home property we never have solar we're still on the grid um, previous properties we had in the past we we're always on the grid so this is my first outing into solar a local company that came out and they walked the property and gave us a quote and they came back with a price of eleven thousand eight hundred dollars now the 
catch with that is, is that they were offering 25 decommissioned solar panels, which are basically used solar panels that large companies use and they decommission those panels when they bring in new ones. They're only 250 watts per panel. And at $11,800, they're also offering um, the EG4 inverter and one server battery rack. Um, which was 11,800. It did not include trenching, didn't include wiring, didn't include the ground mounts. I'd have to outsource that myself. And I was about to pull the trigger on it actually because I didn't know any better. So they were local, you know, easy to access, close by to the homestead. Ethan Rogers from Signature Solar reached out via email and asked if we were interested in a affiliate deal with Signature Solar. Part of the affiliate package with Signature Solar was that we can get up to $10,000 of equipment at 50% off, which was great. This came out of left field, wasn't expecting that. So what I did is I reached out, trying to be honest and do good business to the uh, company that we were gonna roll with and told them that we actually got this deal with Signature Solar and what would be their price if we purchased the equipment. Long story short, it was kind of shady. They only wanted to knock off like four grand, but still was really about trying to sell us those decommissioned solar panels. So cool, walked away from that situation, but we went ahead and uh, got with Ethan over at Signature Solar and made the purchase, had all the equipment shipped in, you guys saw that. Um, so now that we have the equipment, it's like, okay, who in the hell are we gonna get to install this stuff? I started making phone calls, jumped on the internet, started searching companies in the area locally or within 100 miles, trying to see who can come through. I got a couple of referrals to guys who were kinda local, were the closest to me that have off-grid solar experience. The first guy, once I told him I had equipment, he was cool with that, he didn't have any problem. The problem was having him actually come out to give me a quote so he said he's going to put together a quote chase them down for a couple of weeks that didn't pan out long story short no one wanted to actually deal with us because we have the equipment that must be the problem because i reached out to one company and just said hey i got an off-grid uh park model rv trying to do off-grid uh solar hookup how much did you charge and they came back with a quote of almost thirty two thousand dollars because that included the equipment the trenching the ground mounts everything so i'm like okay obviously the problem is that we have our own equipment and i'm assuming there's some some sort of profit margin that they would like to uh maintain so but I had one company come back to do the full install using our equipment, trenching, ground mounts, wiring, everything. He came back. It was close to 12 grand. It was about 11,900 some change, which is a little pricey because that's not including the cost of the equipment that we already paid for. So that brought us well over our $12,000 budget. So I didn't go that route. So that's when I was just like, hey, you know, F it. I'll just try to build the ground mounts myself and save some money. And to be honest, one of the first companies that I talked to well, the guy was real cool, the owner, but he's kind of like, you know, if you did your ground mounts yourself, you would save tons of money. And that always kind of stuck in the back of my head. Maybe I could do it on my own. Once I got that last quote for 11,900 just to do the install and the ground mounts, which would have put us way over budget for our 12 grand, I was like, you know what? Might as well just try to go ahead and do it myself as far as the mounting portion, building the ground mounts, um, getting that done. So also on a personal note, not only just to save money, I say I want to be self-sufficient, and trying to build a homestead, I'm gonna to have to learn how to do things on my own. So why not to take on a big project on my own and learn? Which sounds crazy, but you know, why not? Once I decided to do this on my own, as far as the ground mounts, everything kind of opened up. I was able to get the rock, get the gravel, was able to get the uh, ground mounts at a reasonable price. So I ordered everything. And as you saw, we got started on that. So we went and grabbed the Integra racks and start putting that together. We picked the wrong location in the beginning and actually had to make a move, which you guys know about. And of course, the challenges were being on the slope and trying to get everything level and not really having any handyman experience, but it was fun. I actually got the kids out. That was a monumental day for me because when the kids came out and gave me a hand, I actually saw the progress. I was like, oh, we can actually do this. So that was a turning point for me confidence wise to actually be able to like, you know what, you can pull this off because I could actually see the mount, see the rock on it, see the dirt, see that we actually had it relatively level and getting that first row up was actually a good milestone to let us know we were on the right path. The only person we really had to hire was um, Ramon and Cliff. Cliff came out and did the trenching for an excellent price for the feet at Paiute Life. And we had to hire the electrician who actually um, came out, wired everything up, ran the grounding rods, everything that you saw. He did that for an excellent price as well too. The challenges were um, trying to find the perfect location for the solar arrays. The first place we were gonna put the solar arrays was based upon the first uh, company that came out and gave us a quote. Um, their software analysis was that we should have the array up at the vortex, which, you know, 
we didn't really want to do that because ultimately we're going to build something up there. So we didn't want to go that route. So the secondary area, we tried that and it just was catching too much shade. And that really wasn't the um, optimal location, as you guys have seen in the video. So we ended up moving that. And it wasn't a major challenge, but, you know, it's just kind of like we're just out here. We're just out here figuring it out as we go and just winging it. <laughs> just winging it. No experience. Just kind of winging it and going off of what research we can get done. And, and that's it. So in the end, it all worked out again to our benefit. And I'm very happy and grateful that it went that way because I actually learned some things along the way. Got practice on getting my handyman skills up. Spent time with family, having family come out and actually give you a hand, which, you know, is always a good thing. My daughter's a rock star. So whenever she's in town, it's always good to see her and bond. So for the equipment. So basically we have 11 kilowatts of power on the homestead. Thanks to Ethan. And Rogers over at Signature Solar. Thank you very much, sir. And by the way, also, if you are in the market for any solar equipment, head on over to SignatureSolar.com. Use our affiliate link and the discount code down in the description and the comments area to save money on your solar purchases site wide. So here we go. We got a pallet of Silfab 420 watt solar panels, which came with 26 in the pallet. We got the EG4 6000 XP inverter. We got three Life PO4 version two server rack batteries. We got three of them. Um, we got the EG4 three slot battery rack. We also got the IMO DC disconnect switch, and we got 350 feet of 10 gauge PV wire. And that was for a total of $11,001 and 31 pennies. And with our 50% affiliate discount with Signature Solar, we were able to purchase all of the equipment for $6,273 and 65 pennies. And that included tax and shipping. So for the ground mounts, we got the Integra Rack IR30 solar panel frames, 24 of those, and two earth ballast kits, which came to a total of $3,015.98 pennies with tax and shipping. For the ground Travel, 10 tons, we paid $876.91. For the electrician Ramon, with his labor and materials, we paid $1,825. That included all the materials. So Ramon gave us a great price on that one. So our neighbor Cliff Pete came through from Paiute Life, did the trenching and cut down the four trees for us for only 250 bucks. Miscellaneous materials that included pressure treated wood, the conduit, tools, supplies all the stuff that I needed. I know I overspent on that because being a rookie, bought more than what I needed or bought some items I didn't need, but I decided to keep it because it's good to have. Like I didn't need the fish tape. That was about 200 bucks for that fish tape and I didn't even need it, but I just kept it because who knows, might end up needing it. Um, so all total for materials, that was $2,290.76. Again, there was a bunch of stuff in there I probably wasted. I shouldn't have didn't have to purchase, bought extra and all that good stuff, but whatever, $2,290.76. So that came to a grand total of $14,582.30, which as you know, is well above our $12,000 budget. But the great thing, here's another example of things always work out in, in your favor. So the earnings that we made by being a Signature Solar affiliate during that time period was $5,681.20. So with the subtotal being $14,582.30 pennies, minus the $5,681.20 from being a Signature Solar affiliate, our grand total was $8,901.10 pennies, which brought us in significantly lower than our $12,000 initial budget. In the end, it still all worked out to our benefit. And now we have lights. So on to the next project of trying to get some water up there. We're saving our pennies now to drill a well. And that's going to be a doozy. And so that's how we ended up doing it ourselves. And it may not be perfect, but I'm very proud of us because we actually did it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we got high, a five. high five. High five. <laughs> Bang. High five. High five. <laughs> Come on, yeah, I gotta okay. go. Okay. Okay. I just want to give a shout out to Lori because she gave me a pregnant onion when we had the opportunity to visit Cliff, her husband, and Lori on their farm, on their homestead. Mm -hmm. We actually had an opportunity to visit them, and she gave me a pregnant onion. And I want to show you what that looks like now. It's pregnant. It got babies. It got babies. It grew, and so it's growing lovely. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. It's just sprouting all over. And I don't know if you guys can see here, but it got these little 
bulbs on here. That's why they call pregnant onions because she's pregnant. Video is supposed to be about solar. She threw my onions. Okay. Anyway, I love my plants. So we wanted to give shout outs to all those who helped us on our solar panel journey. All those who helped us with advice and just all the good mm -hmm. stuff. We're going to give a shout out to and the ones who motivated us by being shady and not doing what they're supposed to do. We thank you too. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to give a shout out. Oh, but the positive shout out is definitely Billy Blaze for all of your knowledge and help and just just pretty much babysitting your boy because, you know, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. Bob. Bob Monster. Monster. Man, that's the MacGyver of solar stuff. He's always commenting. We talk offline, email, and he's saying stuff. And I don't know what the hell he's saying. But once <laughs> I do my research, I'm like, oh, he's actually right. He knows what the hell he's doing. So appreciate you, Bob. Thank um, you, Bob. Scott Balkum. Mr. Scott. Scott Balkum. Oh, always yeah. cracking jokes but still dropping knowledge yeah always yeah always always appreciate you man we also want to thank uh cliff oh yeah cliff for, Pete, for, for trenching coming through doing the trenching chopping down the trees yep cliff is our neighbor so thank you cliff shout out to ramon what's the name of this company i forgot the name of this i'll company. put it in there no the, that's down here or ramon here is our somewhere. electrician yeah. He came out he came and hooked through. us up, made everything look nice on the house. Thank he, you, Ramon. He gave us an excellent price and just looked out for us because he didn't, really didn't have to yeah. Thanks, Ramon. come that far out and do all that work for that price. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. We also want to say thank you to Mike who came out and cut up our trees yeah, for us. Michael Tanner. Michael Tanner. Local guy. Yep. Appreciate another you, Mike. neighbor in the area. Anyone else? That's it. Okay, well. And thanks to us. Because we did it. Oh, well, we want to say thank you to... Oh, Indigo, Bashi, Bashi Alexis, Alexis, for coming out and helping out with the first row to ground mounts. That was big. That yeah. was actually a turning point because I was struggling by myself. Yeah, we had a whole crew one day mm -hmm. and we all was just getting it in the trenches. So yep. we had a little assembly line formed and we was just mm -hmm. working. So thank helped. you guys for coming out and helping us out on that as well. And we just want to say thank you to all of all of you for just watching our shenanigans watching mm -hmm. us you know the comments the comments the advice the advice the thank bad you. advice the good <laughs> advice all of it <laughs> the what the hell did you watch the video advice <laughs> thank you for motiv for the motivation thank yeah. you for the encouragement thank you for watching our shenanigans because a lot of times we just don't know what we're doing but you know you guys watch us and we figure stuff out mm -hmm. and yeah we, we're always laughing at our mistakes and time. stuff so we just thank you guys so much and we will see you next time peace, peace. seven sigma of green